welcome 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 today you'll be learning about different types of keys in relational databases there are three types of keys the first one is the primary key the second is the foreign and the third is the composite key i know you're confused and probably thinking what are keys in the first place so let's try to explain this with the help of an example now in this slide you see a table it's an employee table and there are six employees sujay joe matt john david and joe the first column is the employee id now as you'll notice that there are two employees joe and joe and they have the exact same name so how do you really differentiate or uniquely identify these two employees the way to uniquely identify these two employees is with the help of the employee id which means in this case the employee id is the primary key therefore your primary key must always be unique right you cannot have two employees have the exact same employee id also your primary key cannot be null now remember that primary keys do not always have to be numbers they can also be text so for example the same table can be resurfaced using email as your primary key so for example here we have six employees sujay joe matt john david and joe i can use your emails in this case as the primary key which will also help me to uniquely identify the employees all right now let's take a look at other examples that you are familiar with so for example student ids or your roll numbers are also great candidates for primary keys your passport number is also an example of primary key we know that no two citizens will have passport that has the exact same passport number the same is the case with mobile numbers right when you call someone it rings to only one person the phone does not connect you with two different people therefore your mobile number also is unique and thus is also a great candidate for primary keys so then let's talk about foreign keys what exactly is a foreign key now here you have two tables the first table is an employee table the second table is the manager table in the employee table your employee id is the primary key your manager id is the foreign key in your manager table your manager id is your primary key so what is happening here is this manager id this is the foreign key is helping us to establish a connection with the manager table so what this really means is that sujay and joe report to manager sam matt and john their manager id is 2 2 refers to lisa which means matt and john report to lisa similarly david and joe their manager id is 3 and 3 is chris therefore david and joe report to chris so really what i'm saying is foreign keys are used to establish a relationship with other tables and they refer to primary keys of another table your composite key it is a type of primary key and it is usually a combination of two or more columns to create a unique key so instead of using employee id or passport number or your phone number or even your email address as your primary key you'll, you'll be using a combination of two columns so it could be employee id and the hiring date uh, name and hire date that could be uh, the unique key that will help you to identify your 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 rows so in summary your primary keys help you to identify a row primary keys have to be unique and they cannot be null your foreign keys refer to primary keys of other tables and are used to establish relationships that is connections with other tables and finally you have composite keys that are type of primary keys but are a combination of two or more columns